Alright. Just search iTop Screen Recorder from the web. And the first result should be this iTopVPN.com domain. Just open that. We are now in the iTop Screen Recorder page. And below this page, you should be able to see a link to About Us. When you click that, you will be taken to this page. From here you can see that iTop was established from 2016. They have 20 million users now. Going down the page, we can see their main product, which is VPN, hence the name of the domain. And a screen recorder, which is what we are going to tackle in this video. At the bottom of the page, we can see that the iTop headquarters is at Kowloon, China. As for the founder of the iTop company, unfortunately, I cannot find anything other than iTop as a subsidiary of the Orange View Limited company. And searching for information about Orange View Limited is scarcer than iTop. So the founder is of iTop remains a mystery for now. Going back to the iTop screen recording page, you can see here the main features of the tool. I can record any part of your screen with audio and webcam. It can record up to 4K resolution. It also comes with a video editor, and you can save the videos in different formats, and easily share it. You can see more detailed information about the iTop screen recording by scrolling down. To see the pricing of the tool, you can click the 60% off here at the top. And going to the below information, we can see a comparison table here between the different packages. We have a free version, then a $20 monthly, a $33 yearly, or a $40 for three licenses. For free, you only have up to 10 minutes maximum recording, but you also get the teleprompter feature, the magnifier, and a game boost. And unfortunately, you'll also have a watermark on all videos when you're only on free version. All the monthly and yearly packages basically have all the features of iTop Screen Recorder. The main difference between them is the price. The yearly price is way more cheaper than the monthly prices. It's more than $100 savings. So if you are planning to buy an iTop Screen Recorder license, I highly recommend to go yearly. Okay. Let's start the good stuff by downloading the application now. The installer is only 6.8 megabytes. And they even provide some instructions here for the installation and usage of the tool. Let's open the exe file to install. Click install now. It will then give you an option to install the iTop PDF tool for free. You can click yes if you want that, but for me, I'll choose no, since I already use I love PDF for all my PDF needs already. You can watch the video I created for I love PDF from the link that will pop up in the screen, if you want. This installation took 1 minute and 20 seconds for me. We can then click run now to open the newly installed iTop screen recorder. As you can see here, it created two icons for the iTop video editor and the iTop screen recorder. Let's open the screen recorder. You have initial tutorial tips items here on how to use the screen recorder, which is a nice touch by iTop. It also shows the shortcut keys here to record, pause and screenshot, another nice and helpful touch. Let's first go through the settings of the iTop screen recording app, which we can access from the burger menu at the top left corner. For general settings, you have the options for the language, to make the app a startup application, to keep it running in system tray, and skipping account control warning. For the record, you can only remove the watermark in the video if you have a pro version, or the paid version. You can toggle options for countdown, the floating toolbar, automatically hiding desktop icons, the taskbars, and the iTop UI. Also an option to remember the last region selected for recording, preventing screen to sleep, and enabling the enhance mode. There's also a hotkey here for enhance mode. You also have an option here to save the audio file separately after recording the screen, and creating a real-time backup of the recording. And lastly, a toggle to hardware acceleration. When recording your webcam, you can also select the default background effect. I'll choose blur here. You can also choose the shape of the overlay webcam recording, as well as the size of the overlay, and its position in the screen. When including the mouse cursor upon recording, you can also toggle to show highlights in the mouse, and to show a left and right click animation. You can then set hotkeys for every functions you can do, which includes the start or stop of the recording, the pause or resume, taking a screenshot, showing or hiding the webcam overlay, muting of the microphone, showing or hiding the teleprompter, showing or hiding the magnifier, and the enabling or disabling of the keypress visuals. To set or change the hotkeys, just click on the respective text box, and then press your desired hotkey. You can also set the size, format, frame per second, bitrate, quality, frequency and channels of your video, audio, and image recordings from these settings, including the tone of the voice recordings. You can also set the default location where the recordings, screenshots, or video editor projects will be saved. To change the location, just click the respective folder icon, then select your desired folder location. And lastly, you also have some proxy settings here. I'm not sure where this is used though. If you know, do let me know in the comment below. Just click the save button to apply your changes in the settings. The rest of the menu is for submitting feedback to iTop, to read the user manual, to check for updates, about the app, and to register your license, in case you have one. 
Fortunately for me, iTalk gave me a pro license to create this video, but as usual, all the opinion expressed in this video is solely mine and has never been influenced by anyone. If you bought a license, just enter it here in the text box, then click register. And you can enjoy the pro features now. Let's go back to the settings to check. As you can see here, the record without watermark is now checked, indicating that I am now in a pro version. Below the burger menu, you'll have four sections here for record, screenshot, files and tools. For the record section, you'll have four tabs here, indicating the four types of recording you can do. For screen recording, you have an option to record the whole screen, or select only a region of the screen, a specific window, and also set a screen ratio for the screen recording. You can also include or exclude the speaker or microphone sound, the mouse cursor, and the webcam overlay in the recording. For webcam, you can choose the webcam device and the resolution, and also toggle the speaker and microphone. In addition, you can also set the brightness and the background effect. For audio recording, you can toggle to record the speaker and microphone, and set the voice tone to either high or low pitch. And lastly you can record your game. You have the usual toggle for speaker, microphone and webcam, and an option to show HUD, and to boost the game recording. Let's now try the screen recording, which is the OBS part of this tool. Let's select an uncommon item here and choose a region. There you go. Now we will only be recording this part enclosed by the red box. To start recording, we will just need to press the red record button. And we will have the countdown timer as we've enabled this in the settings earlier. Let's do some actions here in the recording area. Below, you will see a toolbar where you can stop or pause the recording, see the time of the recording, and do some cool stuffs, like when you click this doodle icon, it will show you these several more tools that you can use. You can toggle the show or hide mouse cursor. You can write or annotate in the recording. You can draw a square, circle or line. You can also use the arrow to highlight a specific item in the screen. You can of course I'll change the colors of all the shapes and object you are putting in the screen. At the rightmost side, you have an option to clear all, or undo. And you can also put in a text in the recording. So, it is safe to say that the iTop screen recording is way more feature rich as compared to OBS. When you're done recording, just click the stop. Then it will give you an option to save the recording in the cloud. I'll choose no thanks for now. In the UI, you will automatically be pointed to the files section where you can see the screen recording you just created. You can play it from here. As you can see, it only recorded the region we selected. There's the annotation that we did. There's the shapes. The arrows, and so on. Now let's do a screenshot. You can either go to the screenshot tab in the record section, or just go to the screenshot section. This is now the snipping tool part of the iTop screen recorder tool. You have four options to do a screenshot, for customized, which is also the same as selecting a region, a full screenshot, for active window, and for scrolling or extended window, just like what you do in a cell phone. Just click the blue camera button here to start the screenshot. Then like the screen recorder, you also have an option here to add the shapes, to annotate, doodle, blur a portion of the screen, add text and more. Then you can either click copy to save to your clipboard, or click save to directly save the screenshot to a file. Just like the iTop screen recorder has many features compared to OBS. This one also has way more features than the Windows native snipping tool. You will again be redirected to the files section to view the screenshot you've taken. From here, you can directly open the image. That's it for screenshots. And by the way, the files section are also divided into three tabs for screenshots, audio files and the video files. Alright. Let's now go to the tool section. We have six tools here for quick editor, advanced editor, compressor, denoiser, text-to-speech and talking head. But only the four tools at the top here are native. Let's try the quick editor. This is a very basic video editor. It will let you select the video that you want to edit here. Then you can add a filter to the video. You can cut it only from the edges, not in the middle. You can add cute stickers in the video, add a music background and also a subtitle. That's it. If you are not that techie and only wants to do simple edits on your video, this will be enough for you. Otherwise, if you want more features on a video editor, you can go to the advanced editor. This is the Clipchamp or DaVinci Resolve tool of the iTop screen recorder. From here, you don't need to select a video immediately, but rather open a video editor project or create a new project, which is what we're going to do. Just like any other video editors, you have a media pool here, where you can add all the videos, audios, and images that you are going to use in your project. You then have a timeline below where you can drag and drop, arrange, cut and edit the media. Aside from the media you added, you can also insert stock stickers, add texts, apply effects, transitions and filters to the media in the timeline. At first use, this might take some time though as it still needs to download everything. Below, just above the timeline, you can also adjust the media's opacity and duration, you can resize, reposition, rotate and flip the media. 
you can add a fade in and out effect and also adjust the speed to slow down or fast forward the videos. Pretty much a complete video editor. Not as advanced as the likes of Clipchamp, DaVinci Resolve or Filmora, but it has all the essentials and it is really user friendly and easy to learn and use. When you're done editing, you can export your project and select the aspect ratio, resolution which can be up to 4K, and the format. The compression is iTop Screen Recorder's version of Handbrake. It reduces the video file size while keeping the quality intact as much as it can. Okay. Let's try to compress one video file here. Let's try this recording we created earlier, which is at 942 kilobyte size. You'll have three options here for the compression levels. The normal, which is what the type says. Advanced which can be up to 50% size reduction, and the ultimate, which can be up to 70% size reduction. Let's go crazy and try the ultimate. Let's click compress. There we go. It's about 43% file size reduction. Let's play both videos to compare. Okay. There is a noticeable reduction in the quality of the video here for the ultimate compression level, so I would suggest to use just the normal or advanced, if the quality is important to you. By this round I would say that Handbrake is still better, as it has more features like the batch convert and way more compression options, trimming, cropping, and more. But for basic video compression, this will do. We also have the denoiser here, but let's go to the other AI tools first. So both the text-to-speech and the talking head feature here just opens a different website for the tool named Vidness. I am not familiar with this tool yet, but it looks like they specialize in artificial intelligence or AI tool, and they look promising. If I have time, I will look into this tool and create a separate video about it. For now, I just want to mention that these two tools here, the text-to-speech and talking head, are not really part of the iTop screen recorder. Alright. Before we test the denoiser, we need to create an audio file first, so let me record an audio file by going to the record section, then the only audio tab. This is the Audacity version of the iTop screen recorder. Let's record. Let's play the audio recording that I did before we denoise it so we can compare. This is a test of the audio of iTop screen recorder. Hello, test mic, test mic, one, two, three. Okay. Now let's go back to the tools and open the denoiser. Let's select the audio recorded that we've just created. It's an ACC format by the way. Click denoise. That was fast. Let's open the folder and open the denoised audio file to compare. This is a test of the audio of iTop screen recorder. Hello, test mic, test mic, one, two, three. Okay. That does not sound promising. To remove the background noise, it actually remove all those traces of the background sound, which resulted in a quieter audio, which also became muffled, or like you're speaking underwater or something. I'm not a fan. I'd say that the noise reduction tool in Audacity is much better than this. Now let me show you the unique features of the iTop screen recorder. Let's record the full screen this time, then hit the record button. Going back to the toolbar here, on the right side, we have a magnifier option. By clicking that, your mouse will turn into a magnifying glass, which can zoom into parts of the screen that you want to highlight. And I really love this feature. I think all screen recorder apps should have this feature. It's a really neat way to put focus on a specific part of the screen. To turn it off, you can press the hotkey for magnifier, or click on the magnifying glass icon in the toolbar again. The other unique feature here is the teleprompter, which you can turn on by clicking the icon at the right side of the magnifying glass. From here, you can type in your scripts, or you can load any of the preset scripts in the topic drop down below. Let's try thank you message for example. And you can also enable the automatic scrolling of the text, and even select the speed of its scroll. There you go. This is a great help if you are creating a tutorial or any kind of video where you need to read a script. You can pause the recording, update the text, then start scrolling along with the start of your recording. Great feature. Now for the game recording, unfortunately, I cannot demo it, as I top screen recorder cannot detect the game I'm playing, which is Asphalt. Every time I try to select a game, it weirdly only detects OBS, which is actually not a game. On both windows and processes, it can only see OBS. Just to show you here, I am clearly running Asphalt here. So I am not sure why I top screen recording cannot detect it. Hopefully, this will be fixed by their future releases. They might need to tweak the application tags, since it's not only that it does not detect asphalt, but it also detects a screen recorder app as a game. It's weird. Anyway, other than this game application detection issue, and the mediocre DeanWise tool, overall, I'd still highly recommend iTop Screen Recorder.
When creating a video, I use several tools like OBS for recording my screen, snipping tools for screen grabs, Audacity to enhance the audio, Filmora or Clipchamp to compose and edit the video, and then use Handbrake to reduce the size of the video I created. Those are five different tools, and all of those functionalities are here in this one application. iTop Screen Recorder is not just a mere screen recorder, it's the whole media creation package. They should rename this to iTop Media Creator or something, because that's what it does. It makes your media creation effort a lot easier, and all of that in a highly competitive price, especially the yearly subscription. If you're looking for an all-in-one media creation tool, you should definitely check out the iTop Screen Recorder. See the link in the description for more information. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching, Nova Air.